In this video, we're looking at tons of different houses that are only meant for pros and hackers. Houses with crazy redstone designs and super cool command blocks. Beep, boop, beep, beep. So let's take a look at the best ones we found. In fact, the best ones in the world. the hacker house. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the safest house ever to exist. This house is literally built by a hacker. Right off the bat, you can already tell that the security is even double than what the pro house had. I wouldn't even want to get near it. Now I'm going to attempt to break into this house. I have absolutely no idea. I have is a block of cobblestone. So can a noob break into this house? Oh, yo, all the pillagers have enchanted bows. Oh, flip. <laughs> I couldn't even make it past the second layer of security. Here, let's give it a try. Oh, <laughs> Let's try this one more time. This time I have diamond armor on. I'm gonna drink a potion of regeneration, a potion of strength, and a potion of swiftness. Let's see if I can make it into the house this time. If I can't, then I really don't know what to say. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm making it further. Oh, oh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Wait, are these barrier blocks? Oh my gosh, is that the wither? Are you kidding me? Wait, how am I supposed to break through this? I can't. I literally can't break through it. Oh my gosh. And that is why that this house is called the hacker house because it's literally using barriers, not barrier blocks because you could break barrier blocks in creative mode. I can't break these. There is literally the only way I can get into this house is if I'm in spectator mode or you need some sort of teleportation pad to teleport inside the house. But let's go over some of the security features. So we got pillagers or private bodyguard. All of them are equipped with extremely enchanted crossbows. Then after that, as you guys can see, we get hit with tons of fireworks that do an insane amount of damage. If you don't have armor on, you won't even make it past this. The next stage, we have beehives, just about every 10 blocks that spawn with tons of angry bees. And then after that, you are gonna get struck by an insane amount of lightning. If you can make it this far, then you must have diamond armor on. And then the next area of defense is anvils. You just get tons of anvils dropped on your head. And obviously I'm not dying because I'm in creative mode, but if I was to switch over to survival mode real quick, I would be dead in two seconds. <laughs> Let's say you make it through the anvils. Next, you gotta face the shulkers that are pretty much all over the place. And if you make it past that, then you might fall into a pit of killer bunnies and there's a lot of them. And then after that, you have to face the guardians. And then after that, you can walk onto the slime thing that throws you up into the air. And then you're faced with blazes and there's two blazes in every single post and they're about five to six blocks apart. And then if you fall into this lava pit, you might get eaten alive and then the barrier wall. Yeah, like I don't really know how you're supposed to make it past this. I, I really don't, it, it, it's not possible. It's not, guys, I'm in creative mode right now. Look at this. I can't, I, I literally can't get rid of it in creative mode. I don't know how someone's gonna get past this. And it goes all the way up to the world height limit and it goes all the way down to bedrock. Let's say somehow you do make it past the barrier wall. Then you are faced with the wither, but not just one, there is a wither every five blocks. Are you kidding me? Now, if you make it past all the withers, then you're going to be faced with dragon's breath. Pretty much anywhere you walk on this purple path, you're going to be hit with dragon's breath. And then if you make it past that, there is an exploding TNT wall that I can't even get through in creative mode. I look at this. Let's say you make it past that. Then you are faced with a portal. Look at that. If you fall in here, you are instantly going to be teleported into the end. Oh my gosh, this is this house is way too OP. If you somehow do make it past all this, this is an extremely dangerous fence. And whenever you step on it, it basically kills you instantly. Let me show you guys. Let me go in survival mode. I have full health. If I walk up to this fence, I literally die instantly by magic. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there is four elder guardians at every corner. Unspeakable, I have a milk bucket. I can get rid of the mining fatigue. No, you can't. Not when there's four of them. They're just going to keep giving you mining fatigue. You better have a hundred milk buckets. But if somehow you make it through all this security, let me show you guys the house because it is actually really, really sick. So you want into the house and it is just beautiful it says unspeakable right here because that's right this is your boy's house oh yeah 
No, I didn't say I was a hacker. But we have this beautiful fish tank in the ground here, which is pretty cool. You can go upstairs, and once you go up to the second story, you're presented with the farm. This is what we're protecting from all those noobs out there, our two farms. Don't worry, there's another farm. Look, we're protecting the turtles, okay? That's what's important. We're protecting the pandas, we're protecting the cows, we're protecting the, the foxes. We are protecting all the animals in here. That's why this place is so important. Now, if we go upstairs again, we got two little enchanting stations over here. And if we go upstairs again, yeah, I know this house is like five stories. It's huge. We have a lounge area over here. I like to hang out here. We also have a little office kind of area. And then if we head upstairs again, I'm pretty sure this is like the sixth floor. This is actually the living space. So we have a dining room. We have a kitchen over here. We have kind of like an outdoor area, even though it's not really outdoors, but I think it's pretty cool. Now, if we go up to the seventh story, we have a gym up here. We got a boxing bag. We got some weights. I mean, this place is sick. And we also have a reading spot. We also have a balcony over here where you can just oversee your mass creation, which is just insane. And then if we go up a little bit further, we actually have a swimming pool. And when you swim down into this pool, you can actually see the gym down in here. And on the other side, you can actually see my bedroom with my two armor stands right there, which is pretty, pretty cool. We also have a pool table over here, and then you can oversee the garden, which is pretty sick. And this is pretty much the top floor. So there's not really much above us, except for a giant lava pit that I could open in any second, and then it could actually flood the entire house with lava and protect itself. If someone was a pro in Minecraft, this is exactly the kind of house they would have. A beautiful modern house fitted with very nice traps. Now, I have no idea what's going to be first. I'm assuming there's going to be something. Yep. You see. I, I, it's always the front door, okay? Why the front door every time? I get the whole front door thing, but it gets kind of old. You know, it gets kind of old. What is this? Check the garage. Okay. Okay, all right, we got a whole like parking lot here. This is phenomenal. Press the button if you want to see a Lambo. This is like, press the button if you wanna see diamonds. You know, I don't really know what's gonna happen here, but I'm gonna press the button because I'm hoping there's a Lambo. Oh, oh what? <laughs> There's a whole train that just came out and hit me. What the flip? Okay, don't mind me just picking up some grass so I can walk through the front door. Bum, bum, there we go. And look at that. They use blue fire. Phenomenal. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. A giant, that is a huge hole. Are you kidding me? And it just instantly, there was no pistons. This is some pro level stuff. They're using command blocks now. I am impressed. What can I say? This is a beautiful kitchen, by the way. Look at these chairs. How did you even make these? Lights, camera, action. All the lights broke. Okay, well, it, it is a pro Minecraft house. It's not a hacker one. I, I guess the lights are broken and I'm getting slowness when I stand on the carpet. That's kind of weird. Is this fall? Is this going to drop? Oh. No, no. Can I jump on it? Okay. What is this? Oh, oh, now I'm being poisoned. Wonderful. Phenomenal. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. That is a little bit savage, I will say. A cobweb and then an end portal below it. A little sa- What the flip? He literally just deleted the block. I You've got to be kidding me. I thought placing the block, I was going to be good. Now that is a pro level hack. You got to be kidding me, right? Now I got to defeat the ender dragon. You're funny. I'm just going to walk off the edge. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Uh, uh, alligator. <laughs> so you're telling me if I place a block there and I try to run past it. What the flip? Yeah, that's nice. That, that's a nice trap. I made it past the trap. I had to use creative mode. Shh, don't tell anyone. All right, we're going upstairs here. Oh, what is this? The water room. I guess this is the bathroom. Ooh, you smell. You should take a shower. Why do I feel like this shower is about to explode? Or it's going to trap me in here and drown me and fill it with puffer fish. <gasps> what the flip? Bro, bro, bro. Chill, 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 chill. I can kill them all. I can kill them all. I, can kill them. I can't even hit them all. I can't even hit them all. Uh, okay, well, I was uh, slain by puffer fish. Wonderful. What else do they have upstairs? A dragon. Oh, oh, okay. We got invisible blocks here. I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, I found it. I found the secret entrance. What is going on here? I, I feel like a dragon's going to pop out of the corner or something. Oh, the puff of fish. This is too advanced for me. I don't know what's going on here. Your inventory was cleared. What? I lost my fish. Your inventory was cleared. Your inventory was clear. Okay, so it just deletes your inventory. You know what? It probably takes everything from my inventory, puts it in a chest, so the owner of the house can keep it. Genius. All right, what do we got on the third story? You should sit. I don't know about this. This is gonna turn into a roller coaster of death. Okay. I don't. 
<laughs> it just instantly killed me. Well, that's one way to die. Just sit on a on a yeah, okay. Nice, comfy bed. You should test it. Why do I feel like this is gonna teleport me to the nether? I knew it! I don't know why. I just saw the nether blocks, and now I'm in the nether, and look at that. Portal is surrounded by lava, and I have no blocks. I, you know what? Is that a four block jump? I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> that, that might be a five block jump. Might be a five block jump. You know what? You know what? I might survive. Nope, not gonna sit on the bed. Okay, the floor's not gonna fall out. Diamond storage. LOL. Okay. All right. Well, at least I didn't die. Turn on computer. Ah, we got a triple monitor computer setup. Your YouTube channel has been hacked. I'm sorry. What? Hold on. Let me look at my YouTube channel right now. I'm refreshing it. It is not hacked. Let me let me check my other channel. Let me check on speakable plays. It, it is not hacked. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine what kind of troll that would be? If me pressing a button in Minecraft hacked my YouTube channel legit? I don't know. It might take a second. Guys, you should check my channel and make sure it's all good. I don't like this house anymore. Just, just yeah. Take me back to the nether. Take me away take me away let's head down here and head over to the beginning of the world here we have the entrance of what is going to be a bunch of different rooms now if i go in here this little magical room i'm gonna place this book down and we can see all these different rooms we got a bedroom a farm storage a bathroom a portal and there's even more after that but if you see what's behind this wall let's go ahead and hop over here look it, it's nothing it's just a bunch of water there's some wood down it looks like they were trying to build a house but kind of gave up but if i use this magical key and walk up to the door there is now an entire bedroom wait hold up you're telling me if i exit right now and i what um i'm sorry <laughs> wait hold on hold on hold on look at this look at this so i got the key right hold on uh, i come down here i walk in here what in the world <laughs> So this is a bedroom. So it looks like we got some beds over here. I don't really know. I don't know who's sleeping in this bed, but uh, they're not having a good time. Looks like we got a little computer set up right here. It even goes upstairs onto a bunch of books so you can get your knowledge. And over here, what is this? I can change the color of my bed. Are you kidding me? Oh, today was not a purple day. Today was totally an orange day. I need to sleep on orange. It's kind of like changing. I guess it's just like changing the color of your sheets. It's obviously kind of practical. Over here, we got some armor. I can press this button and I all of a sudden have iron armor on. I can press the diamond button and I have diamond armor on. I can press the golden button and I have golden armor on. This Minecraft world is seriously magical guys this over here is the entertainment area i'm pretty sure this is the remote i don't think the tv oh the tv actually works oh my gosh i mean i'm not watching like fast and furious or anything but it does show up colors that is really really cool and then over here we have a fish tank what well, seems to be a fish tank and we can spawn it oh is that fish food oh it's fish food and they're eating it oh my gosh <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, I gotta feed the fish. Gotta feed the fish. Come on, fishies. I know you guys are hungry. Oh my gosh. This is probably the coolest bedroom I've ever seen. But guys, there is a lot more to it. And look at this. What in the world? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to the next room, which is the farm. Now, as you can see, there's nothing back here. I hold the key. I walk through. Now we are in a farm. What? in the world like it also serves as a kitchen as well there's a massive kitchen in here so pretty much anything that has to do with food is in this beautiful minecraft room i really like that wall decoration by the way i don't know just something about it that's just cool right here we have a beautiful pig and if we press this button it will pretty much cook him and then spawn another pig and then we get his raw pork chop and then we can press it again and yeah it's honestly kind of cool it, it's very cool look now i have six raw pork chops it's magical it's seriously this whole world is magical if we go over to the cow thing it is pretty much the same thing um it's kind of like they're getting abducted by a ufo they start looking up and they're like "Ooh." What's that pretty light? And then the next thing you know, they turn into raw beef and leather. Same thing with the sheep over here. Poor sheep. He thought there was grass up there. Nope. It's just raw muttons and some white wool. This table right here is actually really cool. It kind of grows everything itself with these magical droppers on top that seem to replant and plant everything. It's so just watch this. All right, so I press this button and it mines all of it. And then it will end up in this chest. There you go. You can see the carrots and some of the wheat. And then we can press this button and it starts growing it back. But you can see it's watering it from these droppers 
above and you can see all the plants growing and then we can press this button again and it will mine them all and then end up in here look now we got 15 potatoes now we got even more seeds i can press this button and it just literally grows all the plants like what this room is insane and again what in the world i don't get it i do not get it let's go to the next one which is the storage room we grab our magic key and walk in here we are presented with a massive storage room you can store a bunch of things in these chests if you flick this lever it will actually bring down the chest and set it right there and then pick it back up it's like a chest vending machine like what in the world so i can bring it down press that button have it stop there and then pick it back up and take it back into the everything this lever right here will make it turn from a shulker into a shulker box that's right you can put shulkers on here and turn them from actual shulkers that attack you into shulker boxes that you can use as chest my mind is blown this right here is a chest organization system you can pretty much press any one of these buttons there you go you have a chest full of whatever button you press and it's almost instant look at how fast it is i mean that is just incredible i i don't even know what to say about that and then this i don't really even know what to begin about this this is a diamond presser pretty much what it's going to do is it's literally going to compress diamonds and make them it is now it, it takes about 10 coal to do one but it is definitely worth it for sure look at that now i got a diamond <laughs> Can I, I want this machine in my house literally all you gotta do is put tin coal in it and then press this button it's gonna take the coal it's gonna compress it against this diamond spin around do some fancy stuff and then it is going to come down with a fresh diamond right there look at that now i got two diamonds i will trade 10 coal for a diamond any day so that is the magical storage room as you can see again there's nothing back there it blows my mind every blows, blows my mind every time but we can go to the bathroom now and this one's actually pretty cool so if we go into the bathroom we are presented with well a bathroom not very much not too too fancy you can not turn it on and it does spin some water which is pretty cool and then what's creepy is this is a mirror there's a there's a mirror. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Have you ever seen a mirror in Minecraft? I have not. I have not. That is so, so cool. You can go into here and this is the toilet. We got a beautiful row of toilet paper. Press the button and it flushes just like a toilet should. And then if we head down here, you are presented with a massive bathtub, which is very, very cool. Now, this bathtub doesn't really do anything magical. It's not going to just like throw out millions of dollars or anything crazy it's just the bathtub the bathroom is pretty ordinary and that's why i think it's cool because it's normal and it's not magical and i'm not having my mind blown <laughs> going on to the next room we have the portal room which is pretty cool so if we walk into the portal room we are presented with a massive end portal and it will spawn the portal just like that and now you are presented with the portal so if i do jump in there of course I will be going to the end to fight the Ender Dragon, but I don't really want to do that right now. And then over here, we have the other portal. We have another portal. So this room is pretty simple. It's just two portals. This is your portal room. Anytime you need to go to the end or the nether, this is the room you're going to come in. So yeah, this room is pretty simple. It's just two portals. You have the end portal and you have the nether portal. And you can press these buttons to actually uh break apart the portals however it won't change where the portal spawns which is pretty impressive i'm not gonna lie but i love the end portal i love how that thing just comes down from the ceiling and just like ignites it it's just so so cool going on to the next room is the enchantment room now this one is pretty cool if i do say so myself it is basically a massive enchantment table that will give you some insane enchantments this over here is the beacon selector so pretty much what we can do is we can turn this thing around and it will change the colors of the beacon so whatever color beacon you want we can simply just press this item frame and change the colors i think it's pretty magical because the blocks are changing within the item frame please tell me how that makes any sense it doesn't make any sense at all but if we walk around here there's really nothing around here just a bunch of knowledge and then you have your enchantment table so if we press this button it will present us with some xp if we press this button it will give us some lapis used to enchant so pretty cool you can pretty much just sit here press this button and just get 
get yourself a ton of experience and a ton of lapis. Thank you, magical dropper. <laughs> Coming from the enchantment table, we have another lever over here, and wow, I got way too much experience. <laughs> but this is the effect selector. So I can pull this lever, and you can see I now have a speed boost. Now you can actually change the effects. So now I have haste, and now I have resistance, and now I have a jump boost, and now I have strength, and now I have regeneration. You can literally pick whatever you want, and you can also pick whatever color you want yes this room is very customizable again one of my favorite rooms i just think it's so cool how easy it is to just switch all the different strengths and effects like uh, my mind is blown my mind is blown this minecraft world is very very magical ladies and gentlemen but moving on to the next room this is actually the last room this is the pool room so if we walk in here we are presented with a massive minecraft pool this pool is sick we even have a bar over here which can serve us some food how you doing sir having a good day now, i'm not really sure what these levers do wait what did that do oh it changed the flooring okay so if you want to change the flooring of your pool you can indeed do that i think it actually turns it into a bubble or a hot tub pretty pretty cool now that other button actually will drain the pool um the villager is not too happy about that because you know that's kind of how he makes his food but we can turn this button back on and we'll fill up the pool pretty quickly just like so that is so so sick and i love the ceiling as well the ceiling is so so cool how it's all open and modern i mean it just looks so so good now again if we walk out of here <laughs> can someone explain to me how that makes any sense Let's go to the pro house. The pro house looks insane. It literally is exploding, throwing out fireworks. I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna try to break into this house. I absolutely have no idea where to start. I'm getting fireworks launched at me. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna go in. Let's just go in. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, there's shulkers here, fireworks. Oh, I have slowness now. I have slowness and good luck mining anything for the next five minutes. Okay, guys, well, I have made it onto the house. Uh, the only thing now is can I land without dying? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane, dude. Oh. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. First off, we got pillagers pretty much guarding the entire house. If you make it past the pillagers, we have random TNT exploding every couple seconds. And then we have firework rockets being shot out of all of these dispensers. Guys, there's... And then making it past the firework rockets, we then have potions of slow being thrown up out of the ground and landing on this path and then you have shulkers all over the place and by the time you pass the shulkers you're probably going to get mining fatigue by this giant elder guardian that's in the sky and then we have guardians in their cages pretty much like every five to ten blocks around the entire property but if you manage to make it through all of that security you are now inside the house and you can actually turn off some of the security features like the fireworks the tnt and the slowness potions so there's a little less chaos and a little less lag <laughs> I can only imagine what the hacker house is going to be like. You have got to be kidding me. This is the best of the best of the best. This is the hacker Minecraft house, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous on how good these traps are about to be. First off, I'm going to go ahead and say this house is absolutely massive. There's like 15 stories. Okay, there's like four stories. It's pretty crazy. Lasers only hurt animals. Don't be afraid if you're a human. I don't really trust that. I'll walk through it anyways. Yep. Yep, um, are you calling me an animal? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a ladder there for a reason. Okay, what if I try this way? Nope. Yo, can I just go ahead and say that this house has a pool here, a, a pool here, and I'm pretty sure it has like two more on the roof. That is pretty sick. What the f flip did i just walk through a block whoa wait hold on bro what in the world what all these blocks are solid what 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 i guess i will enter the house through the pool that is one way to do it whoa okay all right all right nice pool day it's a good day for a dip yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah okay this puffer fish is trying to kill me that's all wonderful wonderful is this is this gonna drop below what is this there might be something interesting down here. I don't trust that one bit at all. I'll come back to that one. What the f 
flip. Yo, I literally told you guys on the last house, I was like, what's gonna happen next? Is a dragon gonna pop out? Boom! Are you kidding me? You can see my pet if you get close to the window. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I just wanna squeeze your little face. Okay, you're kind of scary. Do you want some food? Are you wanting a lot of food? Sure. Oh, a spider eye. Oh, yay. Love me a good spider eye. I'm not gonna eat the spider eye if you think I'm gonna eat it. Wash your hands. Why is the entire house flooding? I think you have a leaking problem, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. Yep, this is the best cake ever cooked. You can't miss it. What the fuck? <laughs> That is definitely a hacker trap. That was a good one. I, I was confused. I thought the cake came to life. I mean, it kind of did. All right, now I guess let's see what's down this hole. What is this? Are you kidding me? You're making me look really dumb right now, okay? There's nothing interesting to that. There was just a button there, and then it disappeared, and now I'm stuck in the hole. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, what is this? Wait, there is something interesting down here. What is going on down here? Wow. Wow, there's literally, it's just a command block that just deletes the button. I I love it. There's an elevator. I don't trust this one bit. I don't trust this one bit. Oh, 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 I thought it was gonna work for a second. Broken. Oh my gosh, this house is so big. I'm still on the first story. What is this? Are you afraid about the closet monster? I'm not afraid. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. Now I have bats all in the house. Wonderful. Is this one gonna delete my YouTube channel too? Yep, it, it, wait, wait. Your YouTube channel has been deleted? All right, bro. You, get, you gotta calm down with the jokes. All right, how the flip do I go upstairs? If the other elevator doesn't work. Oh, there's a ladder. Wonderful. Is the ladder gonna blow up? Okay, cool. What is going on in here? Is this the movie theater room? Does the movie theater work? PS5 launching? No way. Oh no, the console's broken by ASDFW. Push the button on the right to switch to news instead. Okay, so I, my PS5 is broken, so now I'm switching to the daily news. Welcome to the daily news. There's a TNT attack in a modern house. What do you mean? Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna be a little expensive to fix, but on the bright side, at least all the bats get to roam free. All right, what do we got going on in here? We got fireplace, what can go wrong? Oh, of course, myself being set on fire. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna jump in the fish tank, stop it. Let's go upstairs. Is, is, is the, is, are the stairs gonna delete themselves this time? Please, please don't delete themselves. Okay, we're. I'm so suspicious of this floor now that it dropped in the other house. Okay, I think we're on the third floor now. Please press shift. What the? Flip is this. Look at your head. What is going on here? Did I not do it right? Oh, the button. Now the button's gone. That's a little suspicious. All right. Well, it looks like the hacker has had one troll that has failed. What a noob. The weather machine. Oh, it strikes me with lightning. What the flip? I'm starting to be annoyed by this house because the trolls are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And there's another story. Are you kidding? Kidding me? There's also another, I think there was like another pool up here. Oh, uh, this is like a, this is a nice deck. Oh, you can enjoy breakfast here and look at the beautiful neighborhood. Oh, look at your wonderful neighbors. Oh, must be nice living next to these two trollers. All right, well, uh, this entire floor has blown up from the previous TNT. Oh, look at the bathroom. Yes, I would need to use the bathroom. I need to take a large poo-poo. Someone else has taken a large poo-poo before me. I am leaving the bat. Flip the door. Why, why does it always take so long to break iron doors? All right, let's go upstairs, shall we? To the final floor. Oh, what is this? Look at that. The diamond plot. We have your channel is at 100k subs. We get the 100k sub plaque. The channel has a million subs and 10 million subs. Turn on TV. Why don't I not trust this? This, this house has the best way to exit from it using a trampoline. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Why do I feel like, Whoa! I knew something was gonna happen. I didn't know what, but something. All right, fine, let's let's try turning on the TV. What could possibly go wrong? You know, I don't really think this bedroom was for me. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go change the channel. We're gonna go somewhere else. What's going on over here? What is this? Oh, there's a balcony. That's not a balcony. That's, that's, <laughs> that was the hacker house. This, this is the eye scanner. Okay. Right click. Oh, it's scanning my eye. Oh, did it work? Welcome, Captain. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> Look at that. That is the coolest entrance I have ever seen. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, guys. We are in the underground military base. This is insane. I don't even know what to say. All right, well, let's go ahead and scan our eye again. I think it's gonna close the door up there. 
There it is. Okay, so we are now locked in the base. And there is cameras everywhere, guys. The crazy thing is about these cameras is they actually follow you around. Like, look at this. It's just following me. Let's go, people. Let's start with the tour here. Where do I even begin? So over here is the kitchen. This is one of the kitchens and eating areas. Really, really nice kitchen. We also have a vending machine full of MREs, which are meal ready to eat. A nice water dispenser as well. If we head over here, we have kind of a first aid center, which is nice. It will instantly give you first aid kits, which is pretty sick. There's a lot of places of a bunker like this that haven't been designed yet. They're completely empty. So let me know in the comment section below what you would build in this empty room. Heading over here, we have some of the bunk beds and they even have a giant fish tank in here. How cool is that? But these are some of these sleeping quarters. Heading back into the main area, this is pretty much the gym. So we have a gym over here. We have the locker room over here and the showers. And then heading over here, we do have a pool. This is so that everyone on base can get a lot of exercise. Heading over here, it seems like we have kind of an entertainment lounge area. I'm assuming after the workouts and after a long, hard day, they probably come in here, relax, and definitely do some reading. Hmm, wow, that's a lot of knowledge and maybe a little bit of enchanting as well. This is where the fun stuff begins. Let me show you because each one of these ways, we're gonna go into different types of hangers. So this hanger right here is the aircraft hanger. So if we walk into here, we literally have a jet on standby at any time we can walk in here get in a plane and fly out of this base how cool is that and these right here are the hangar doors so if we click this lever right here it will open up the hangar doors and we can fly right out of the base but we're gonna go ahead and close those before someone sees this secret base yep close those doors close them these two bays right here are kind of mechanic bays to work on the jet and then over here we pretty much have the control center or the flight control deck for the jet so so the team in here is pretty much responsible for keeping in touch with the captain when they're in the air. Pretty cool if you ask me. This is sick. I don't even know what to say about this. This is some next level stuff, but that is not it. If we head over to the next section, we are presented with the Jeep hangar and you have a hangar full of sir, yes, Jeeps. Sir. Check this out. We got a Jeep. We got a four wheeler. And of course, we do have a hangar door on this one as well that will open up and allow us to go into the wall. Oh, there's skeleton. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close that door before we get to bring out a jet and kill some skeletons. If we head upstairs in the Jeep hangar, we are also presented with another control deck. This is also kind of a storage room as well. There's just a lot going on in all of these rooms. This base is crazy. If there was ever a zombie apocalypse, this is probably where I would wanna be. If we head back over into here, that is not it, ladies and gentlemen. Just wait, because next we have a helicopter pad in here. Check this out. What? Would you rather take the Jeep? Jet or the helicopter. This is so sick. And check it out. Since helicopters obviously fly up, the hangar door is above us. So it's going to open from the top so you can fly the helicopter right out. Now, at the end of the video, I will take out one of these to fly. So keep watching till the end. Let's go ahead and close the hangar doors before a zombie or something falls into the base. That is so, so sick, dude. What? Going over to the next hangar, we have the hovercraft. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a hovercraft. Are are you kidding me? This is insane. And the hovercraft is in water right now. So whenever you open the hangar doors, you are presented with pretty much a river that you can just go out and drive on it. Oh my gosh. I need to live in this base. This is the coolest Minecraft base I've ever seen in my life. Let's go ahead and close those hangar doors though, before we get an elder guardian or something swimming in here. And you can see, look at that. The hangar doors even go underwater and close all the way down. That is so sick. I gotta take this thing out and drive it. That is not it guys. We are not done. Let's go ahead and head over to the rocket hangar. Are you kidding me, dude? We literally have a rocket ready to go. Well, it's not really ready to go. They're still working on it, but we can go down and take a look at the rocket. Now, it's not ready to fly yet, but it's gonna be ready in a couple weeks. Look at this, bro. We, we literally have an entire rocket ship in here. Are you kidding me? Check this out. This Where is sick. Bridge? We can head up to the top of the rocket to the flight deck. This right here is the fuel cell for the rocket. This is all the fuel. And then this right here is where the rocket pilots will sleep. And this right here is kind of their work deck right here. And then we can head down to the bottom layer. And this is kind of more of the control center. That is just so sick. This is literally what, bro? It's a rocket. It's so big too. Like this thing is massive. It's gotta be at least 50 blocks tall. This room right here is the rocket control center. So whenever the rocket goes up into the sky, or 
into space, pretty much everyone, this deck will be full of people communicating to the rocket team. Leaving the rocket hangar, we also have the astronaut suits right here. These things are looking sick. That is some scary looking astronaut suits. Kind of looks like Dark Vader. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Believe it or not, there's still more stuff to show you guys. This is a cobblestone generator. So this is how they generate all the cobblestone on base to build more rooms and expand the base even more underground. So this is a insane cobblestone generator. Let me show you guys this. See, pretty much boom and then boom, boom, boom. It's pretty simple. It's just a cobblestone generator, but pretty sick to have a whole room just for a cobblestone generator. And this is some advanced cobblestone generator. Like, I don't know what they go got going on with the water and the lava here, but like, it's pretty cool. This is like probably the fanciest cobblestone generator I've ever seen in my life. On to our next room, we have the military marketplace. Now, this is pretty much where you can trade with the merchants or the vendors for stuff. So I can pretty much give them emeralds for a zapper. What is a zapper? Five emeralds for a TNT missile, 10 emeralds for a fighter jet, 15 emeralds for a ATV. I feel like the fighter jet should be a little more expensive than the ATV. I mean, that's just my thoughts. We also have a merchant over here that will trade iron ingots and gold for like beds or fuel or ceiling fans, just in case you need a ceiling fan. The dealer is really cool because you can actually trade iron ingots or even cobblestone for emeralds. So you can go mine tons of logs, cobblestone, get a bunch of emeralds, and then buy yourself your very own private jet from the vendor. This guy, the quartermaster, trades rations. He also trades meals, energy drinks, oxygen, first aid kits. That is pretty cool. That is the military marketplace. Heading on to our next spot. That's the cobblestone generator. We already saw that. The rocket silo. We saw that. The research center. We have not seen this. Wow, this is sick. So this is the research center where they do research on rockets. They do research on faster jets. I mean, just research on all the technology that the military has. I don't really know what's going on here, but it looks like they're messing with some like nuclear stuff over here. Let's head down here. What in the world is going on down here? This research center is huge, dude. They have some barrels. I don't know what's going on here, but they're researching some pretty cool stuff. Oh, there's a zombie in there. They're probably doing some tests on a zombie to see if they can mutate it. This is some crazy stuff right here. What's going on in this room? What is this? Danger. Okay, well, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just looking. I'm not going to touch anything, but I, I don't know what's going on in these rooms. This is so sick. There's even a giant jump pad right here where you can just jump. So cool, dude. I want to live here. This place is sick. This is the training center for the military dogs. They run them through a bunch of laps here and train them, which is pretty cool. I want to talk to one of the dogs. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh I want to take you home. He's so cute. Look at his big old eyes. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> so cute. That is so, so adorable. So cute. Take care of the dogs for me, guys. Heading over to our next area, we have target practice. Oh, this has got to be cool. Oh my gosh. What? It's like a whole range. This is sick. All right, we got the zapper. How do I use the zapper? Oh, what? Yo, that is sick. All right, let's see if we can get a bullseye. Boom, bullseye. That's what I'm talking about. And it goes to even more stuff. Oh, it's full of creepers. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. I just I just hit a bullseye on that last one. Yeah, do not mess with me. Uh-uh-uh. I'm gonna need you to leave the facility, creeper. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, what do we got going on here? It looks like we got another range here. Now, this one is even a longer range than the one above us. But the fact that they have two different ranges is just so cool. Look under here. What's going on under here? There's like a whole desert. Bro, how do you, how do I go there? What oh what is this? What what is it? Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Hold on. What? There's so many like secret things in this base. What? What? What is this? What is this? An emerald, a golden apple, an enchantment book? Yo, I'll take it. What in the world? This place is so sick. I love underground bases. These are just so so cool. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, yo, this is like a whole training facility where they can run through drills and shoot targets. Yo, this is sick. Oh snap! Oh snap! I, I I didn't know it was like live action. Okay, okay, good thing I got a zapper on me. Yo, this is cool. What? It's like a whole bunker. This is where they do all of their training exercises, I'm assuming. This is sick. There's even like a hole upstairs. This is cool. Imagine having like a paintball war in here. That would be so cool. There's even barbed wire. I wonder if it hurts. Wow, this is cool. It's like a whole little like paintball playground. <laughs> it's so sick. 
I personally, guys, I am amazed with this base. This is incredible. But believe it or not, I still have more stuff to show you guys. Heading over to our next section. This is actually an, another empty section where we don't have anything to build yet. So this base or this section of the base could be literally anything. Heading over to our next section, we have our medical treatment center. This is pretty much the doctor's office, basically. Now, me personally, I don't really like the doctor's office, so I don't want to be here. But this is where they treat anyone that is in injured and maybe they do some dentist work as well but this is the doctor's office pretty cool that you have your very own doctor's office staffed with doctors in your underground base i mean that is just sick here we have the mine so this is where you can go mining for iron gold cobblestone whatever you need to go trade with the merchants so head into here and we are presented with a very large mine now the cool thing about these mines is kind of like a minecraft prison server and they actually reset every hour i believe which is pretty cool so you can see there's some gold right here there's some iron some wood and then the rest of it just cobblestone really 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 sick but you could just go mining get tons of ores and then go trade them and possibly get your very own jet that pretty much covers the entire base now it's time to have some fun where's that jet hanger let's see if i can remember where it is i think it's this one yes the aircraft hanger let's go boys open up those hangar doors i am ready to fly this jet although i have absolutely no idea how to fly a jet but i'm gonna figure whoa oh my god Gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is so sick. I never thought in my life I'd be flying a military jet out of a underground military base. How cool is this? Guys, are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta figure out how to land this thing because the military is not gonna be happy with it. I figured out that they stole my jet. This is not a GTA. I do not have five stars yet, but I will soon if I don't return it. All right, let's 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 go down. Okay, maybe I should make another loop around here. Oh my gosh, it's so loud too. It's so fast. Okay, I'm coming in for the landing. Gonna try to land this thing. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Watch out, cow! Oh! Oh my gosh, I just hit a cow. I hit a baby cow. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Okay. Oh, wait. He's good. He's good. He's still alive. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, the jet is safely parked exactly how it was. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. We're just gonna close those hangar doors. All right, I, I gotta try out the hovercraft. I think this is the hovercraft. Yes, hovercraft. Here we go. Oh, this thing is sick. All right, open up those hangar doors. Get me in this hovercraft. Oh my gosh, what? Yo, this is so cool. I've never driven a hovercraft in Minecraft. This is sick. I wonder if we can drive on land. I think we should give it a try. Hovercrafts are usually made for water and land. So let's see. Oh no, it can't drive on land. Oh no, it's stuck. No, no, no. Come on, get back in the water. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I cannot break this thing. This thing is probably millions of dollars. Check out the hangar entrance here. How cool is that? You just drive in just like so. That is so sick, dude. Are you kidding me? All right, let's close the hangar doors. Now there's one more vehicle that I want to try. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Come on. It's the helicopter. Of course it's the helicopter. This thing is sick and it's raining outside. You've got to be kidding me. All right, here we go. Looking up to fly. Oh, we're exiting the hangar. Yo, what? How sick is this? How cool is this? I'm literally in a military helicopter right now. This has to be the greatest underground base I have ever seen in Minecraft. This is the hacker Minecraft house, the world's smallest hacker house. Look at this thing. This thing looks like a museum. It doesn't even look like a house. Like, look at the roof and look at the way, like, this is like something you would see in Iron Man. Let's go ahead and teleport to the hacker house. Here we are. And look, we have now been shrunken down to size. We were just in this room with the double doors from the pro house. And now we are shrunken down and this is the hacker house. Now this house comes with a robot. What? We can go ahead and shift in front of the robot and then it will say, look, welcome back and speakable. It removes the lasers in front of the door. Now we can safely walk inside. And once we are inside, guys, I don't even know where to begin. Like, what is this? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, guys. Oh, what is this thing doing? Oh my gosh, it just gave me a diamond block. Are you kidding me? All right, I mean, to be fair, we are in the hacker Minecraft house. So some things in here might be a, a little hacker ish. Let's check out the first story. Of course, we got a fish tank. Now these fish are a lot bigger than the other fish. And we, of course, have a fish feeder as well. Over here down this hallway, we have a armor stand hanger 
thing with fire, we can press this button and it will automatically give you the armor that you select. So I can press this button, it will automatically give me that armor. I can press this button over here and it will automatically give me this armor. Look at how incredibly quick it is. Like no need to get ready in the morning when you're a hacker. Here we are in the kitchen. We have a massive dining room table with all the utensils and we have an infinity food bar, which is basically a conveyor belt that gives us more and more food. You can simply just walk up to it and it will give you the closest item. We just got a pumpkin pie and some honey. What? Some leftover Thanksgiving food. This stove right here is gonna blow your mind. Check this out. So I have food here that I need to cook. All I do is I throw it on the stove and it automatically cooks it. Bro, what? What? That is some hacks right there. Look at that. Look at that. What in the world, dude? What? We also have a cookie dispenser because who doesn't like a cookie dispenser? I mean, come on. We also have a hot tub in the living room next to the kitchen. Meal, you can hop in the hot tub and cool off. And it even has bubbles. What? <laughs> this hot tub in your Minecraft house has bubbles, has its own air bubble system. You have got to be kidding me. All right, well, let's go upstairs and believe it or not, it can get better than what you guys have seen. First off, just take a look at how beautiful this house is, how modern it is, how open it is. I love all the glass in the ceiling. It is so pretty. This right here is our very own nether portal, like literally instant, instant nether portal. There's also a balcony over here, a pretty large balcony that also has our plants on it. We can turn on the automatic crops and it will automatically start growing these crops like insanely fast. We can also make it go even faster by turning on the watering system. I don't know, this is this this is too much. This house is way too advanced, I don't even understand. And the fact that this house is literally the size of two blocks, you can literally pick up this house and take it in your pocket. There is a button to teleport to the storage house, which is actually just right upstairs. There's no stairs to get up there. So you have to press this button and it's going to teleport you up here where you can store all your gold, all your diamonds, all your iron and anything else. But this is just upstairs. Look, we were just down there. <laughs> like what? You know you're fancy when you literally have to teleport to your stacks of diamond blocks because you can't walk up here. That is just way too fancy. We can literally just hop back downstairs and what? Check this place out. We even have our own coffee machine here. Flick the lever and it starts brewing up your coffee. Like bro, what? Look at that, cup of coffee. I wonder if the fan works. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the fan works. This is the armor selector. So we can pull that lever and then the glass goes away. And then we can simply press this and it will pretty much go through all our armor. Even enchanted armor, uh, enchanted netherite armor. I mean, the best of the best. We can flick that lever again and it puts up the glass so it protects the armor. That is too much. What do we have in here? What what could we possibly have in here? It looks like we have a balcony right here. There's another balcony over there that I have not explored, but this is like a little chair, it looks like. And then over here, we can choose our pet. I'm gonna go for the cat. And then we press this button and it dispenses a, a cat. Yes, it does. No cat, don't jump, don't jump, don't, 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 don't do it. Good boy, good boy, okay. Here's that other balcony with a random button on it, which I have no idea what it, oh, it's a firework show. You know you're fancy when you can walk out on your balcony, press a button, and you have your very own firework show right in front of your house. You've gotta be kidding me. What does this house not have? Let's go upstairs here. This is the bedroom, and you know what's crazy? You can automatically change the sheets of your bed. You can even sleep on diamond blocks. I'm pretty sure that's not very comfortable, but if you want to, you can do it. And then over here, you have a clock. Now, not just any clock, a clock that has the ability to change what time it is. You can even change it to midnight. Are you kidding me? Look at that time day, time noon. And if you look, boom, it's noon outside. The fan does work, by the way. It, it does, it, do, it does, yes. Yep, it, it, of course it does, of course it does. Of course it works. Look at that, I've a, a working fan in Minecraft. If only I could feel the wind in real life. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing. 